Hey there and welcome to this quick tip regarding bullet points in PowerPoint. Now there is something regarding animation that you might not know when it comes to bullet points. Let's say you are creating a text box. First level, paragraph. Let me just quickly take this. Press enter and copy that over. Okay, I have plenty of paragraphs, maybe even a few of second level paragraphs. Now I will select everything and I'll hit my bullet points. I want this to be second level, so I press my tab key and look at that. If you take this, you go to animations and you press fade, PowerPoint will treat this as one animation. But in fact, if you open the animation pane, you have this animation here. And if you double click on this animation to edit it, you have those three panels and the text animation panel, you can see there is something called group text. And this is something that very rarely anyone uses and anyone knows about. Now this is grouped as one text, but you can group it by first level paragraphs or by second level paragraphs. By first level will make those animations major. By second level, will make also those animations separate animations. Now look what happened in the animation tab. You can open this and instead of having one big animation on the text, you have one, two, three, four separate animations for each of your things that you are speaking. If you want those second level paragraphs to be also separate animations, no problem. Close that down, double click, go to text animation and select by second level paragraphs. Now everything is a completely separate animation. Now let me show you a preview. You are speaking a presentation, I would explain you something and by pressing my first button I would reveal the first item. Then the next, then the next, then the next and look how much cooler this is when, when people speak about bullet points. They have an entire slide with bullet points and it's so like counterintuitive where should I look? Which paragraph should I read right now? This way you are getting rid of that problem. One more specific thing I can show you here. And maybe this is much information at once, but if you are clicking on it like that, you are addressing all the animations inside of it. But if you open it and you double click here, you are addressing only animation number four. I want to address all animations, so I'll close it down. I'll double click. I'll also select an effect, which is after animation. The basic one, the, the default is don't dim, but you can dim it to the color. For example, to a gray color, this is like the standard color. And now look how much better this is. Now let me make it more in the middle so you see it. Now, if I would speak this presentation, I would not only call out my bullet points one by one, I would also make you to forget a bit about the last one. Well, forget is not the proper word. I would like you to switch focus to the next thing I'm telling about, I'm explaining, but I still want you to remember what was the first, the first bullet point. So with both the animation by paragraph and the dimming, you are getting this beautiful, well, animation, this beautiful slide prepared. Now, of course, uh, this is a slide without design, but I wanted to show you that it's so simple to make your bullet points when you speak better. I can plain and simply tell that because this is a really cool trick not everyone is using. A simple fade with, with a few tweaks and we are getting this, this beautiful result. So remember, you can select the text box, click a simple fade, then just double click text animation and change the level of the paragraphs because else this one object this one text box will be treated as one object i will end this tutorial here i hope this is really helpful and did teach you a lot of useful things so thank you very much for your attention and see you in other tutorials like this